Hello friends, Coasty Chris here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be going over body armor and we're gonna continue our series on personal protective equipment. And I just want this to be an introductory video for you on what body armor is and give you a little bit about my opinion on why you should get body armor. So there are five types of body armor that you should be aware of. It starts with level 2A, level 2, level 3A, level 3, and level 4. There's a sixth one in there, level three plus, that we'll also go over, although it's not an official designation yet. So, the civil unrest that's been going on in 2020 has a lot of people spooked, including myself. I, I totally get it. Um, I had looting and burning and uh, a whole bunch of uh, gun violence skyrocketed in my area, uh, just a few blocks away from me. And in fact, I used to live in a place that uh, had bullets go through the window uh, just in a regular time. So I always recommend that people get body armor. It's uh, technology that is affordable and honestly, it helps me feel safe and it's allowed me to give it to other people at times when they didn't feel safe as well. So body armor is a great uh, addition to feeling safe if you've purchased a firearm. And if you are somebody who's uncomfortable purchasing a firearm, I, I completely understand and I, I definitely recommend that you get body armor uh, because it'll help you feel safer. And at the end of the day, I just want people to feel safe and comfortable and feel good, look good, and be their best selves. So if body armor is something that is gonna help you do that, I'm all for it. Going through the different layers of body armor real quick, you have level 2A, and just like uh, medieval soldiers back in the day when they went to war, they wore something called gambeson, and it was tightly woven fabric, and it, it will actually stop a, a blade, unless it's razor sharp, it's gonna stop that blade, and that's why they wore it, because it worked for hundreds, if not thousands of years, tightly woven fabric has helped uh, soldiers and civilians uh, stay out of harm. We've gotten back to that. So level 2A is going to be woven fabric uh, armor, and it's gonna be able to stop a nine millimeter round and some lower velocity 40 caliber rounds. So those are some of the most common handgun rounds, and a lot of crime and is, is perpetrated with handguns. So level 2A is gonna be the most comfortable, it's gonna be the most concealable, and it's not what I'm wearing right now. If, you, if you're comparing this to level 2A, don't, because this is not level 2A. Uh, this is a little higher level. So level 2A, you can throw it over a t-shirt, under a larger shirt, and then put a jacket or hoodie over that. You're not gonna know that you're wearing level 2A armor. Same with level two. That's gonna be able to stop higher caliber rounds. 357 Magnum is what it's rated to uh, stop. And you're, you're gonna feel even just that little bit of extra protection. It's gonna definitely stop uh, nine millimeter and 40 caliber rounds better than level 2A. Uh, and as you go up in uh, the ability of your body armor to stop rounds, you do go up in price. So if you want the introductory body armor and it's gonna help make you feel safe, I recommend going for level 2A or level two and that's gonna stop most rounds that you're going to encounter as a civilian. Then you're gonna get into level three and level three A body armor. So level three A is actually what I'm wearing right now. I used to be a bodyguard uh, when I, I needed a job and uh, they had work available. Uh, it was a great experience. I love the people I worked with and one of the requirements was that I get body armor. So what I did is I got body armor and Body armor is different than the plate carrier in which you house your body armor. So this plate carrier here and this body armor carrier uh, has armor within it. And I can take this out and put that armor in different uh, configurations and different body armor harnesses and ones that might be more concealable than this. I was actually able to take down all the accoutrement on my uh, body armor as it came. It came with a little bit more padding on the shoulders and the sides, which I'll show you in a second. But what I was able to do is take all that down and then put a patrol shirt over this. Uh, and 
it was great. My, my badge didn't stick in me because I had this, this uh, armor in the way, but I was able to conceal this. You obviously knew that I was wearing body armor, but it was a little less imposing. I didn't look like a SWAT team member. Uh, and so that, that helped me feel safe being a bodyguard. And I got into some scraps and, and did my job, and I was always grateful to have this body armor. So level 3A is rated for uh, 44 Magnum and below, those, those caliber handguns. It's not rated for any rifle rounds. That's when you get into level 3 armor, not level 3A. So level 3A is still going to be woven fabric and Kevlar. It's not going to be solid plates, um, which solid plates, not as comfortable as woven fabric. And I was going to have to wear this for 12 hours at a time, and I wanted something a little bit more comfortable. That's why I normally recommend for any civilians, go ahead and stick with level 3A and below. I know I might get some heat for that. There's, there's a ton of videos out there describing the benefits of you know, higher rated uh, armor. But to be honest, this channel is trying to cut through all that BS and realize that you're not going to use what you're not going to wear and you have to like wearing it. This is incredibly comfortable. And as a result, I wear it more because it's comfortable and it works. And that's what I want for you all as well. But getting into level three body armor, you might be able to find some uh, level three armor that's woven material and woven fabric, but then you're gonna get into the world of plates and you're gonna need a different harness for a plate. This has the ability, and I'll, I'll show you in a second, we'll go through this harness in a little bit more detail uh, in this, this plate carrier, but it has the ability to insert uh, steel plates as well. And that's what I mean when I say plates. So level three is rated for rifle rounds. That's when you get into uh, 7.62 uh, rifle rounds, uh, NATO rounds, the military designation of M80, and it, you're gonna feel safe in it, but it's gonna weigh a lot more. It's gonna be less comfortable, and if you're in a situation where you think that there's gonna be uh, rifle rounds flying around, that's a situation you wanna get out of. And I highly recommend if you feel safer with level three armor um, or level three plus, which is just an additional designation, uh, not an official one, but a lot will be advertised at level three plus, which also stop some higher velocity rounds like 5.56 five, uh, or 2.23, uh, however, however you, you say it. And um, those are great as well. So level three and level three plus are gonna be the most common steel plates. You can also get ceramic uh, and some polyethylene, but those are gonna be more expensive because they're more comfortable. And uh, so it's all up to you, your budget uh, and the comfort level that you want to uh, experience while wearing your armor. Again, wearing it is what's key, not if it's going to uh, you know, stop a bazooka. So then we get into level four. Level four for civilians, I don't really ever recommend uh, civilians investing in level four. It's designed to take one round of armor piercing, uh, an armor piercing round from a rifle, which is amazing. It, that's, and that's what you know, the military uses. It's, a, it's a, an insert and you can stack these on top of each other. So if you have say a level three, uh, steel plate and you want to put a level 4 insert in front of that uh, to stop an armor piercing round that's awesome you can do that you're gonna look and feel like a SWAT team member um, but if you're afraid that there are gonna be armor piercing rounds flying around one you need to get out of that situation and two if you knew this was gonna happen ahead of time enough to get that body armor you need to live somewhere else <laughs> Uh, and, and change your lifestyle because that's it's it's ridiculous if you if you think you're gonna need level four armor You need to change your lifestyle, but it's available which is amazing And you want to make sure that you know the laws of your state in particular The only state that I know of is Connecticut where you can't buy it online. You have to actually buy it in person uh, person to person, 
But otherwise, it's one of the great freedoms in this country that help us feel safe and secure in our own homes. So I definitely understand uh, having a different uh, mindset than wanting a firearm, wanting uh, an offensive, aggressive uh, stance when it comes to your protection. I get that. I recommend that people that are responsible and want to take on the responsibility of being a gun owner and be a responsible gun owner, I recommend that. But I also understand if you don't want to take on that kind of responsibility, get some body armor in addition to a firearm or without. But get body armor that's going to feel good for you and that you're going to wear. So taking a look at my uh, rig real quick. Uh, this is just this is just the body armor itself. It's um, the, I'm sorry, not the body armor. The uh, it's just the plate carrier with body armor inside it. So I've taken off anything. I, I have my blood type on here. I have no known drug allergies in case I'm incapacitated. Because I highly recommend you take a look at some videos of what it feels like to get shot. Uh, it's like getting hit with a baseball bat. You're not gonna be you know on your feet for a few seconds uh, and maybe not on your feet for a long time after being shot, even with a nine millimeter round, it's gonna knock you on your, <laughs> on your rear and uh, yeah, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it a lot. So uh, don't think that you're impenetrable. Uh, they call them uh, you know, bulletproof vests and that's a misnomer because they're always, uh, they should be advertised as bullet resistant vests. And with that, Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, my plate carrier real quick and see if it's something that will work for you.